Okay, short and sweet. Um, this will be my seventh lesson, I think. Um, yeah, seventh lesson. Um, compared to last weekend, I don't think that I really did any better this this weekend uh, with this lesson. Um, I'd say that I'm probably the same as I was uh, with knowledge and ability as last weekend. Um, that's my honest uh, feelings and opinion about uh, about this lesson. Um, when I learn, sometimes I have the tendency to uh, to drop back a little bit, but then I go on with the next uh, phase of learning. Um, okay, so with this lesson, the instructor said um, I need to keep further right in the lane um, to protect my mirror on the left-hand side with uh, traffic coming up on the uh, the other um, faster lane. As you said, um, if there's a pole there and there's not the space for the truck or the bus to get through, they're going to come too close and, and possibly take out the mirror. And uh, apparently they're very expensive because they're heated and uh, you can adjust them from the inside and all the rest of it, so you're looking at a couple of thousand dollars. So if I take out a mirror, I'd pay for it. Very expensive. Okay, um, so keeping to the right hand of uh, right side of lanes, it would be the opposite in the USA and Canada. Um, still going too fast in the corners. Um, there's a lot going on, um, a lot to do, changing down the gears and uh, lane position and um, you know, listening to the instructor and, and telling, um, doing what he tells me to do. Um, uh, I have the tendency to go into uh, corners just a little bit fast, especially for the, for the ability I have at the moment. Um, so that was the same as last weekend. I just uh, I need to just roll slowly into corners, and not um, not feel pressured or uh, um, bothered by traffic behind me and all that sort of thing. And um, just to take it really easy and just roll into the corners and slowly going down from seventh, sixth to fifth, um, and just uh, go slower into corners. Um, the gearbox still isn't a problem. I can change gears up and down. Um, every once in a while I have the tendency to get lost in the gearbox and uh, the instructor will tell me, you know, um, from 7th uh, or from 8th around to 6th um, to is, is like that and, and then I know what it is I've got to do. But apart from that, every now and then getting lost with the gears um, the gearbox is fine. Um, a couple of things I did slip on, slip up on a couple of times. This lesson was uh, the um, not the splitter button, but the um, yeah. So that's the range selector. I've got to remember to put the range selector down when I choose uh, lower gears and when I've come to a stop. Putting it into second gear. Um, we go from second to fourth if there's a slight downhill but other than that it's uh, second to third to fourth and then um, to fifth in the higher range um, I've got to look further forward to look for uh, stale green lights traffic coming to a stop and uh, red lights and just setting up and planning um, yeah so planning I have to uh, get into the correct uh, lane um, just set up for the corner so turning from the uh, or blocking the left hand lane when I'm turning left turning from the further right lane and um, you know we turn right in the right lane unless there's a left turning lane or a left hand lane to turn uh, right um, so I'm beginning the um, the assessments next weekend uh, with the next lesson and it'll start with cabin drills and he's told me to watch the cabin drill uh, video um, clutch depth, I'm pushing in the clutch in too far and heating up the clutch plate got to only go down about 50 millimeter that's the same problem I had last weekend um, teacher's very good he um, I don't know he'd been his uh, he's 69 I think so, and he's been a truck driver since he was young, so 
he really knows uh, trucking and, and how to keep um, how to keep somebody that's learning in a truck safe and the, the truck from not being in an accident and um, and teaching him at the same time. You know, he's uh, he, he's got to be a brave man. Just thinking about how, how would you like to be a teacher, teaching somebody to drive a, a truck out on the road. Uh, he's a brave man, and he he, um, he deserves any money he gets out of it. That's uh, that's what I can say. Um, I asked him. I said, compared to other truck drivers, am I good, or um, or a bad uh, truck driver? So far as being a student's concerned, and new to the truck, you know, compared to other truck drivers that come along, are they worse than me, or are they better than me? He said, uh, I was average. Uh, just sort of right in the middle. I'm not bad and I'm not good. And I thought, well, that's that's good. That, that's what I want to hear. So I'm average. That means that uh, people get in the trucks to drive them that have been driving, um, used to driving big heavy ridges, and um, and they get in the truck. Well, I, I haven't driven large heavy ridged trucks, and uh, if I'm average, that's actually um, very good to hear. Very pleased about that. Um, as I said at the start, as I said before, I don't think that I've improved over the previous lesson. Um, I tried backing today and um, it, it didn't go too badly. I, um, I overcorrected at first, but when he showed me that you just, you make small little um, corrections and just let it roll back and it'll slowly go in the direction you turn it. If you turn too quick, it uh, you get a bit bamboozled. So yeah, backing a truck, that's just little incremental turns of the steering wheel that'll eventually straighten the truck up. Okay, um, I had an interview today with a big um, line haul, big trucking company. Sorry, that was uh, Friday. I had an interview on Friday with a large um, trucking company. They seem to go well, so we'll see what uh, happens with that. I'll just sign off by saying, at this early stage of driving large trucks, I really think that it's very important that the clutch is always used to change gears and the splitter as well.